Good evening, I'm Nandi Shabalala with your sport. Let's get right into all the happenings at Cricket South Africa. Now, Mark Boucher is well known for his exploits as the Proteus wicket keeper. In just his second test, Boucher put on a record-breaking ninth wicket stand of 195 with Pat Simcox. So if anyone knows the new Proteus coach, well, it will be Pat Simcox himself. And he joins us to discuss the state of play after today's CSA briefing. Pat, thank you so much for taking time to chat with us. Let's start with the change of God right now at the helm. Can Jock Fall and Graham Smith turn things around for Cricket South Africa? Oh, absolutely. I have no doubt in my mind that um, given the parameters uh, that they, they they negotiate for themselves, and I have no doubt they'll do it well, that there's, n there's no reason why they can't turn this around very quickly. Um, I, I have no doubt that uh, Jacques Callis uh, will be watching it as well and others that, that can make a, a greater input as well. So I'm hoping there will be a rallying around of all the, the great players around South African cricket team and uh, Mark Boucher, Graham Smith, Jacques Fall and the whole lot of them and the Brains Trust and knowing that Dave Richardson was our year is involved as well. I've been speaking to him quite a bit and he's involved so that's good. So everything's going right for, for South African cricket right now. You mentioned the likes of Jacques Carlos. Do you see him being roped in as well at some point? Oh, there's no doubt in my mind. You know, Mark Dutch and Jacques Callis go back many, many years, and as does Graham Smith. And they know that uh, he's a valuable guy to have around him. I'm sure they'll be talking to him about coming into the change room, spending time there, much like Steve Ward did now for the Australians in, in England in the last series, just to be a presence in there. He's such a great player. And uh, a lot of people will take ins you know, a lot of inspiration from him. All right, just to speak a little bit about Mark Boucher, just a little bit more there. He's going to have to put in a lot of work to revive the team. Just how difficult will it be for him? Look, it's going to be, it's going to be a tough ask. You know, there's not many days left. Um, so he can't really change the old, or, or, or the course of form at the moment. But I think he'll try and change a lot of mental aspects. He'll bring a hardness, a culture to the team. Um, you know, Mark Boucher has been through a lot of adversity. You know, the accident he had with his eye. He played, he's played over 100, almost 150 test matches. You know, many, many one days around the world. He's vastly experienced. And he's been in the cricketing system in South Africa for some time now, a couple of years. He's won a lot of trophies. So I think he's matured now into a really good coach. And I think that um, he'll, bring, he'll bring a culture into the team of, of, of hard work, intensity, um, absolute commitment, and um, what more can you ask for than that? You know, and he knows adversity, so he knows what it's like to be up against it, and he'll be making his plans. And I wish him everything of the best because I know he's a hell of a good guy, and he's got the proteas deeply, deeply at heart. All right, Pat. Now, from what you've seen of Enoch Nkwe, will he be a worthy assistant for Boucher? Well, as, as far as I saw, Graham Smith wants to really bring him through the ranks. Uh, let's be quite honest, Enoch and has been, uh, been quite a good coach in the system. He's done pretty well. He's well spoken about. He's, he's, he's well thought of. Um, and, and from what I understand, that he's a, he, he wants the, the project to be number one in the world. And he's prepared to listen and learn and do all the right things. So that's a good start. Um, but again, at this level, you know, it's going to demand a lot more than just being uh, committed to, to being involved with the cricket team. You need a lot of experience now. And I'm glad that he's the assistant coach to Mark Boucher because it'll be a clear path for him to learn from Boucher and, and hopefully one day take over and be the coach. Now, just over the past few weeks, Pat, we were hearing many calls for the entire CSA board to be changed completely, but we only really saw Tabang More being suspended and nobody else really. What do you make of that? Well, it's pretty clear that those board members that haven't resigned really haven't got any uh, self-dignity. You know, by now, you know, when you talk about Standard Bank, Momentum, Cricket South Africa's uh, Players Union, the public at large, the ex-players, there's so many of them that have really read this position and have said it's untenable, you know, that it's unacceptable that we've got ourselves into this position. And um, to think that board members that still sit there and think they're going to have support, that is just unbelievable. And again, you know, um, they'll be found out. There's no doubt in my mind that um, cricketers will will make sure that that thing changes. And I'd say to them, get out there as fast as possible. We've had your time. 
Um, you've cocked it up enough. It's turn, turn, time to turn it around now. All right. And just finally, Pat, we've got England on our doorstep and Australia coming up also shortly. It's not much time for Boucher to make much of a difference. So how much of an impact can he really have for those series? Well, I think he's a good strategist. So he'll be, you know, be having a look at all those things as well. And they'll be talking about that. He's been a strategist behind the wickets for, for many years. And um, he'll be working things out. I think, as I say, he'll bring a hardness to the side. Uh, a, a very determined, determined way of playing cricket. But let's be honest, uh, England are a damn good side and they're in the country and they're really practicing already. We haven't even got a side picked yet. In fact, we don't even know who's picking the team. So that's really tough for Mark Boucher. But uh, don't write him off and don't write the South Africans off. Um, we've got some pretty handy cricketers. There's some great bowlers in our system. There's some wonderful batters. There's some great fielders. And Mark Boucher will pull that together. And uh, beware the underdog. Um, you know, South Africa right now uh, all underdogs in their own country, and they'll come out fighting up, no doubt about that. All right, well, let's hope the underdog thrives. Thank you again, Pat, for taking time to chat with us. All right, that was former pro tier spinner Pat Simcox chatting to us about the many changes taking place at Cricket South Africa.